shot now at bantamweight, so he got the shot, did not make it, which was a surprise. Then in the last go-around to try to qualify for the games of Rio in June, he did, and that's how he got here. That's how Shakur Stevenson has reached this level. Two wins after getting a bye by way of being the number four seed. He won in a walk over the other day. He's had a couple of extra days rest. Will this make a difference against Ramirez today? Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing Cuba. And there he beat Akhmadelioff of Uzbekistan. It was a very tough fight for Ramirez to get here. You know the rules. Keep your heads up. Keep your punches up. And it was only two days ago, Kenny, that Robisi Ramirez had that fight. Stevenson got the walk over. He's a little more rested up. But, you know, this first round is going to be very important. Who gets off to the quicker start? I believe the winner of this fight will be ever be whoever wins this first round. So both fighters have to start fast. Only three rounds to work, Kenny. 19-year-old Stevenson in the red. The southpaw from Newark, New Jersey. Robesi Ramirez, Cuba, in the blue. Gold medal, bantamweight division, 123 pounds. Three three-minute rounds is what it's scheduled for. And Kenny, you see the southpaw matchup. Both guys are southpaw. Robesi Ramirez, very good on the inside. Shakur Stevenson, very fast feet to slide in and out of range. Let's see who sets, uh, sets the tempo first. Who's able to land their shots and get to the other opponent. First time in 20 years that the U.S. and Cuba have met for an Olympic gold medal in any division. And coming right out, as he always does, is Ramirez, and Stevenson is there with the counters. And Stevenson's got to be careful not to fall into any traps. You don't have a lot of time, only nine minutes to work, so he doesn't have any time to, you know, feel his man out and look around and smile. He's got to let those hands go and use that blinding hand speed. His father, Wally Moses, telling us earlier that he did not want to see his grandson come out there and get into a brawl early. Use your head, use your angles, that's what you do best, and that pretty much sums up how good Stevenson is when he is on doing that. In the clinch a second ago, you saw a nice head position by Stevenson. He wasn't just sitting with his head in the middle. He got his head off to one side, gained position, ripped a shot, and got back out to, uh, to range where he's got distance for that right jab. Stevenson shooting in that jab. And then moves in and is tied up. That punch is going to be key, Kenny. A lot of times when it's an orthodox against a southpaw fighter, they don't use the jab as much because that lead hand blocks. But you've got two southpaws here, and the, and the jab is going to be key to set those combinations up for both fighters. Shakur Stevenson has been waiting for this day a long time. He was seven years old. The last time that an American male won boxing gold, that was Andre Ward in 2004. Shortly thereafter, his grandfather, Wally Moses, got him into boxing. And then he has been a dominant fighter on the youth scene, the junior scene, for the last five years coming in. And right now, taking the fight right to him is Ramirez. Inside, Stevenson has to pull those hands back, Kenny, and look to rip shots on the inside. Very even match when they're on the outside, so he's got to do something to separate himself when he gets in close. Get those hands free and rip shots and work up on Ramirez. Ramirez trying to dig into the body. Now goes back up top with the jab. They exchange. Nice left hand by Stevenson a second ago. He timed it perfectly. A couple of good body shots again by Ramirez in the blue. And that's a slight advantage I'm seeing for Ramirez when they get on the inside. You know, Stevenson's taking a second to look, and Ramirez just letting those hands rip. And uh, in this first round, that could be very important. Stevenson's got to let his hands go. Again, going to the body with those hooks, and then upstairs again is Ramirez. Ramirez putting the pressure on. Very strong start. Stevenson coming back to the body. Seconds ticking down. That's the end of round one. Shakur Stevenson. Perfect here in Rio. Came in here 23 and 0 in international competition from Newark, New Jersey. Went to high school in Hampton, Virginia. Oldest of nine in his family. He was named for the rapper Tupac Shakur. His mother, Malika, a big fan of his. And here we see the action of that uh, that first round there with uh, Shakur Stevenson here, BJ. 
and he's been uh, impressive so far but Ramirez we knew this would be his toughest fight yeah Ramirez has got the experience Kenny and we knew he'd come right out he's got that temperament and he's got that experience experience is very important in fights like this so this is Shakur's first round against a top seeded guy like Robesi Ramirez so a little bit of a slow start we talked about how important that first round was he's got to win the next two 10 point must scoring system that was returned to action this year in Olympic competition and all three judges votes going for Ramirez he got up to the quicker start and he let his hands go and that's the key in these three round fights and it's Ramirez again with the pressure Ramirez in the blue the number six seed gold medal winner in flyweight trying to make it bantamweight now and back to back Olympics and I like Stevenson keeping his distance a little more keeping that right hand a little lower so he can see and pinpoint Robisi Ramirez with those straight left hands he doesn't need to put his hands up completely high and just you know limit his offense Keep his range, use that right jab. With more on Shakur, let's check in with reporter Chris Mannix. Chris. Guys, in 2012, Pedro Otaño was a former Cuban coach brought in to help rebuild the American program. One of the fighters Otaño interacted with was Shakur Stevenson. Otaño told Stevenson he wanted to follow the path of a fighter he used to coach, a young man who won youth and junior championships and went on to win a gold medal. That fighter, Robesi Ramirez. Stevenson, of course, owns youth and junior championships. As he goes for his first gold medal, he will have to get through the fighter one of his first coaches told him to aspire to be. All right, thanks, Chris. And right here, it's Ramirez again, trying to dictate the pace on Stevenson, BJ. And he's doing some good work on the inside. You see, Stevenson's the physically stronger fighter when they get on the inside. He's able to move Ramirez around, but Ramirez is simply able to let his hands go, and he's piling up points like he did in the first round. So Stevenson's got to be careful not to sit there uh, with his hands just, just uh, playing defense. He's got to be offensive. Ramirez winning that first round unanimously from the judges. U.S. has won more medals than any other country in Bantamweights. They've won 10, two of them gold. Cuba, the second most with nine, five of them gold. That is the most in this Bantamweight division. And you see Stevenson on the outside. He's just kind of waiting for Ramirez. He's looking for opportunities to counterpunch, but he can't just sit back. He's got to be offensive and then counterpunch when Ramirez shoots. He doesn't have time for that, Kenny. And a nice left there again by Ramirez. We're basically Ramirez keeping the pressure on. 22 years old, not that much older than Stevenson. Stevenson is the youngest man in this division at 19, but experience already in winning Olympic gold four years ago when he was 18 years old, Ramirez. And think about the confidence that that brings on to a fighter. Winning a gold medal at 18 years old, you know, 19, 20, 20. You're, you've already been a gold medalist. You already know what it takes. So Robesi Ramirez comes into this fight with a lot of uh, a lot of confidence as well, just like Stevenson. Both guys refuse to believe they can lose. Ramirez is the seventh straight fighter from Cuba to earn a medal. Seventh straight Olympics now. They've earned a medal in the bantamweight division. That's how strong the Cubans have been over the years. Good body work by Stevenson a second ago, but he's got to do more, Kenny. He's not making it one-sided enough. It's a very close round still, so got to let those hands go. Stevenson comes in. Nice combination there, BJ. At the bell, round two is in the books. Did Stevenson do enough that round against Ramirez? And... Stevenson trying to become the first U.S. fighter since 1988 in this division to win gold. That was Kennedy McKinney back in the 1988 Olympics. And we see some of the action here in the last round. Stevenson was able to let those hands go a little more. Ramirez had some moments, but Stevenson had a better round, Kenny. He did punch enough to where I feel like he, he did enough to get that second round. So hopefully it's one round to one, and we can come into this third round, and uh, you know whoever wins this round is going to take the gold medal. Ramirez won the first round. Stevenson wins unanimously the second round. Here to cheer them on. Dad Shaheed, Mother Malika, Grandfather Wally Moses. They have been here throughout. Malika naming her son for the rapper Tupac Shakur, who died nine months before young Shakur Stevenson was born. And coming into this tournament, you could say, all eyes on me because everyone has been paying attention to Stevenson since he got here. And Stevenson did enough in that second round, Kenny. He used that southpaw stance. He shot more combinations, and he was effective when he got on the inside. I love that right jab to the body that he shot right there, and I think that could be a nice punch to set up the straight left hand and give him a decisive edge in this third round. Well, this is it. Two and a half minutes to go to decide the gold. Shakur Stevenson in the red from the U.S. 
Robesi Ramirez in the blue from Cuba. Each around a piece, each won it unanimously. Shakur Stevenson looking to be the first Bantamweight gold medalist since 1988 Olympics. Kennedy King McKinney. He's in perfect position to do it right now, Kenny. And, uh, you know, these final two minutes will change the rest of his life. Shakur's got to stay focused here and let those hands go. Looking for that opening flicks out the jab. Did that well in round two. And now that Robesi Ramirez feels like it's a closer fight, he's going to be a little more aggressive in this final round. You see him come right out in the beginning of the third round. That could play into Shakur's hands. He's a natural counterpuncher, so if he's got an aggressive Ramirez, that's actually going to help Shakur Stevenson. Ramirez reaching out and missing. That was a nice right. And right back in that uppercut, just grazing the skin of he, Ramirez. And he set that uppercut up with that right hook. So when he shoots that right hook, Robisi Ramirez has to raise his left hand to catch it. Then the uppercut caught him right up the middle. Nice combination from Stevenson. The jab is so important on the outside. Just show the judges that you're controlling the pace, controlling the tempo. Show the judges that you're trying to work. You're trying to set something up. Both guys a little fatigued right now, but it's down to the final minute, Kenny. They have laid it all out here, BJ, just over a minute to go, and gold will go to one of them. Stevenson in the red, Ramirez in the blue, the U.S. versus Cuba. This has been a very entertaining close fight, as we expected it to be from two young talents. I like the jab by Stevenson and the counterpunching. There you see Ramirez lunging in with the left hand, Stevenson sliding back and trying to shoot and counter it with that right hook. Need more combinations right now from Stevenson. And there was one. He fired in that right. Now with just over 30 seconds to go. Coming right back, Ramirez. And look at the hunger from Ramirez. He's really trying to seize this opportunity. He knows this fight's close in the final 20 seconds. He just shot an 11-punch combination, Kenny, and uh, that really shows something to the judges. Stevenson's got to let his hands go in these final 20 seconds. This is it. Every punch counts. Very close fight. Unanimous decisions for each fighter already around the piece. It comes down to the final seconds for gold. Stevenson, Ramirez, one more punch from Stevenson. And that's the bell. It's going to be a very close decision, Kenny. Very close round three. I feel like Ramirez was a little more active, especially at the end in that third round. Stevenson landed a lot of good punches in the beginning of the round two. It's going to depend on what the judges look for in that third round, though. Very close fight, and uh, both guys have a lot to be proud of. Taking a peek here, look at some of the numbers that Ramirez was able to put on Stevenson. A lot of those punches aren't landing clean, but just shooting that amount of consecutive punches shows the judges, hey, listen, this guy's really trying to win this fight. Good jab by Robicium, uh, Ramirez, and both fighters had their moments in that third round, Kenny. Ramirez... Won flyweight gold in 2012, trying for his another gold medal now in the bantamweight division. That young man, the teenager Shakur Stevenson from Newark, trying for the first men's gold in U.S. boxing since 2004. History's about to be written right now, Kenny. Did Shakur Stevenson do enough to bring gold medal home to the bantamweight division? This is a tough decision. It's taking a while. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by split decision and Olympic champion. Senhoras e senhores, o vencedor e campeão olímpico por decisão dividida no canto azul. In the blue corner, representando Cuba. Robesi Ramirez has won gold, his second gold medal. He won gold in flyweight in 2012, and now gold in bantamweight for Cuba. And Shakur Stevenson, what a great showing. He leaves with the silver, but the wait continues for a U.S. man to win gold. We'll have more when we come back.